didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Golden Rust or Bust. I'm your host, John Behrens, and on today's episode, we have a homemade golf cart. Golf cart? And on today's episode, we have a homemade golf cart that I'm gonna try and resurrect for a friend and her kids. So, so I have no idea what the backstory is on this machine. Um, she said she's got it from her grandpa who likes to go to junkyards and pick things up. That sounds like my kind of guy. So uh, I'm gonna get this thing running and hopefully riding by the end of the day today and maybe drink a few beers along the way. So stay tuned on this episode of Golden Rust or Bust. G-R-O-B. tires so then it's a lot easier to roll around and a lot easier to work on because if I can roll this thing around I can kind of move it wherever I want to get it into a good position where I can you know be on my knees and work on it. where I can bend over where I can oh god where I can work on the machine yeah so I'm gonna get to work airing these tires up So now that I got the uh, tires all aired up, my next move here would be to see if we have spark on the machine and go through all of the basics like we always do. So let's see if it has gas in it. It has gas in it and it smells pretty new. I think somebody tried to probably start this machine recently, but it hasn't been able to. So we have gas here. Let's see if we have spark. Oh yeah, we have spark. So in theory, this machine should run. Just to see if this thing will run, I squirted some brake clean down its throat and I'm going to pull her through. I would say that it runs. So now that we know that the engine runs, we have fuel, I'm thinking that we have a carburetor issue and our carburetor is not allowing the engine to get enough fuel as it needs. So I'm going to take this off. Alright, I cleaned my carburetor up a bit, uh, 
We're gonna see if we can get this thing to run. Okay, well I'd say it's running. It's backfiring like crazy, which tells me it's running a little lean. Um, so we can put it together and see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna slap everything back together and uh, yeah, call it call it a day. I think once I put my air box back on, it might run a little smoother um, than it is running right now. But that that's just a that's just a maybe. That's not a for sure thing here. So that seemed whoa, I'm falling over. So all right, that seemed to fix the problem of the backfiring. What I'm going to do now is I got to work with a centrifugal clutch here. Put my centrifugal clutch on the end of my crankshaft, then run my chain from the centrifugal clutch to my sprocket. This is coming along very nicely. Uh, this tire, uh, I had to put a screw in the valve stem because the valve stem is cracked off. Uh, so that needs a new, <laughs> that needs a new valve stem. But I think it's gonna do just fine for what I'm gonna do with it today. Hopefully we can get this thing to run and drive on its own, own power. Well, okay, it's been a little while, but I'm back working on the junkyard go-kart. Um, so, had a couple issues we ran into. We had the tire, we have the, the alignment here is not great. Um, so I have some things that I brought with me today that should be able to get this finished up. And so, my buddy here can uh, take the first step in. Yep, so he's gonna be driving it around once we're finished. And uh, hopefully, we can, uh, hopefully we can get it done today. Well, all right, so I got my spacer in here, I got my bolt in the end, and uh, it's just ready to put the final piece on here, which is the clip into our chain. And the other tire. 
and the tire. You're right, and the tire, which we're gonna show them how to do that. You're all right, buddy. So what we're gonna do now is, like he said, we still have a tire problem. So we need to fix that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that tire off there. We're gonna put my inner tube in it. And uh, we're gonna go from there. Alrighty, so we got the nut off here. I'll hand that to my helper. It's stuck on there. We'll have to. There we go. Alright, so we got the tire off. It's time to put our tube in it. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit. All right, in order to get this tube in, you gotta push this down. Okay, now we gotta work on getting out that right there. So we got the base of our valve stem out. Now that we got the base of our valve stem, we need to take our tire here. Get it around the rim. put the stem up through the hole like so and we gotta take this stuff here we gotta push it in between slowly but huh but surely. slowly but surely exactly now that we got the inner tube in place all we gotta do is air up the tire and the tire should pop up and that's how you put an inner tube in a tire. All right, so we got the inner tube in the tire. Next things that we need to do is we need to put the tire back on the little go-kart. All right, washer, nut. Sir, are you ready to fire it up and see if it moves under its own power? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Move some of my stuff out of the way for you, huh?
I think he's a little small to still reach the pedals. <laughs> You want to take it, Bruce, man? You got to be careful. This thing, this thing moves. All right? Now, don't floor it, Cole, like you were just saying. Okay? No need to get show off. He's the he's the danger child, isn't he? Uh, well, yeah. He can reach the pedals a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> go-kart ran well into the night and the kids had a blast well that'll do it for another episode of golden rust or bust thank you guys for watching thank you guys for watching all the way to the end and since you watched all the way to the end if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button go and like follow my videos follow me follow my friends junkyard digs junkyard mook thunderhead 289 pole bar and garage cars and cameras uh, jeremy rides I think I'm forgetting some. So we got a new member here. We got Boone. Boone is a yellow English lab and we got him from the Humane Society. And he's gonna make a great member uh, to, our, to our family. So you're gonna see him more on videos. And um, I'm happy that I could get this go-kart going for some good friends of mine and for some young'uns so they can go and ride this thing around. Uh, they're going to have a blast, they need to wear helmets, and they definitely need to take this thing slow, because it's a speed demon. So, well that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep those wrenches turning.